Thank you very much. Publishing was derived from humankind's innate desire to share stories, starting with people huddled around campfires to hear adventures about the world beyond the safety of their firelight. Handwritten scrolls represented one of the first forms of wider distribution of the written word, but it was limited to an elite group. It wasn't until Gutenberg's invention of the printing press that books became available to a larger audience and the modern era of publishing began. But it was still mostly the rich and upper middle class who had easy access to reading. The invention of the mass market paperback dramatically broadened distribution and more people than ever before suddenly had affordable access to full length books. And now, with the growth of digital printing and ebooks, the audience has grown to an unprecedented global world market, reaching more readers than ever in the history of publishing. If publishing's purpose is bringing writer and reader together, it's important to note how each step in our evolution has facilitated that, and how each new technology adds to the existing ones without ever completely destroying the previous incarnation, with perhaps one or two exceptions. For example, there currently isn't a huge demand for scroll makers. <laughs> but all jokes aside, this is important to reflect on when we look at this brave new world of digital publishing and ebooks and examine how writers and publishers can take advantage of new technologies to share stories in fascinating ways.